Hello, hello. <clears throat> hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome back. Mic check, mic check. My teacher. Hey, how you doing, William? How are you? You all right? Fine, teacher. All right, that's good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started today, guys. We're going to be working from the uh, platform. We're going to be looking at the next section. Did everybody finish the midterm exam yesterday? Yes. yes. Okay, so today we're going to get started and we're going to look at section number four. Broccoli is good for you. And we're going to be looking at section 4.0, section number 4.0. Hello, Anna. Okay, so we're going to be looking at section 4.0. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario relacionado con la pirámide alimenticia. Ustedes también aprenderán cómo expresar la comida que les gusta y la que no les gusta. Okay, we're going to look at word power. This is for vocabulary, vocabulary development. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Meat and other protein. Fish, beans. Nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes. Vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. 
I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and coworkers. And think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay guys, now in this activity, what I want you to do is go down here to the discussion forum in this section and you are going to give me some examples positive and negative. Here you're going to write your name and here you're going to write for example number one I like hamburgers but I don't like Mondong, mondongo soup. All right, number two. My father likes a pollo campero, but he doesn't like KFC. Ok, so me van a dar 10 ejemplos positivos y negativos acerca de ti y acerca de tu familia. And then you're going to send it to the discussion forum at the bottom. Alright, you have 10 minutes. 10 minutes to finish.
Eh, ok, para los que van entrando, estamos trabajando en esta sección, que es la sección punto 4.1, Word Power Foods. Y me van a dar 10 oraciones aquí en el Discussion Forum. Por ejemplo, Rubén Santos es el título. Obviamente usted va a poner el nombre suyo. Y allí va a escribirme 10 oraciones. Eh, I like hamburgers, but I don't like mondongo soup. My father likes pollo campero, but he doesn't like KFC. So me va a dar 10 oraciones. 10 oraciones. Los países y partes del día también se comprometieron a capturar y extraditar a los individuos vinculados con el blanqueo de capitales, el tráfico ilegal de drogas, el terrorismo y el financiamiento. Con imágenes de David Clara para el noticiero Ingrid Castellanos. All right, all right. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Ya terminamos o necesita más tiempo? ¿Ya terminamos o necesitamos más tiempo? Más tiempo. Ok, les voy a dar unos cinco minutos más. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. 
meat and other protein. Fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and coworkers. And think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, all right. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Any everybody finished or you need finish. more time? Finished? Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to put you in pairs and I would like for you to practice expressing your likes and dislikes in pairs. Practice expressing your likes and dislikes in pairs. You have five minutes. But I don't like broccoli. Uh, my mother likes fish, but she doesn't like 
and mashed potato and hello yes hi yes yes continue <laughs> and <laughs> my, my brother likes candies <laughs> but he doesn't like vegetable and my sister likes chicken but she doesn't like pasta is correct yes that's correct so in my case i like nuts and potato chips but i don't like butter cream and the other one is oil my sister likes eggs beef chicken but she doesn't like um nuts and my mother likes cheese yogurt and milk but she doesn't like um fish my father likes to eat bananas mangoes but he doesn't like strawberries mangoes and apples uh, my friend likes to eat broccoli, tomatoes and carrots but he doesn't like uh, lettuce and potatoes uh, I like bread, cereal, but I don't like croquettes. And my sister likes rice, and, but she doesn't like noodles. Pasta. Mm -hmm. Pasta. That's all. Okay. Mm. What is your favorite food? My favorite food... All right, all right. Let us continue. We're going to go ahead and move on with the next activity. Now, for the next activity, we're going to be looking at section 4.2. By the end of this class, you will learn what countable and non-countable nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use the expressions some and any. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán sobre los sustantivos contables y no contables. Adicionalmente, ustedes aprenderán a usar las expresiones alguno o algunas. Y ninguno o ninguna. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do you have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically, anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns 
and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right. Now what we're going How to about do some sandwiches? is we're going to practice the conversation. Repeat, please. What do you want for the picnic? What do you want for the picnic? For the picnic. Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? About some sandwich? Okay. We have some chicken. Okay. We okay. Have we chicken. have some chicken. In the refrigerator. In the refrigerator. In the refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. But we, but don't, we don't have don't any bread. bread. And we don't have any cheese. And we don't have any cheese. And we don't, we don't have, have any cheese. And we don't have any cheese. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. 
No, no, no we, we need, need some. Need All right. All right. All right. Let's get some lemonade. Let's, let's get, get some, some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. And let's, and let's buy, buy some potato buy some. salad. Sure. 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 Everyone likes potato salad. Everyone likes potato salad. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to take a couple of minutes and we are going to practice this conversation. Adam and Amanda. Adam and Amanda. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? No questions about the vocabulary? Okay. Okay, what do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Hola. Sí. Hola. <laughs> no. Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese? Do we, uh, do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All we right, okay, all right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy, 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 buy some potato salad. Sure, sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay. Ahora usted. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we, and we, and we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drink? No, we need some. All right, let's get some limonade. Limonade. Limonade, la, la pronuncia algo raro, pero no me recuerdo. Limonade, algo así. Limonade. Okay, and let's buy some potato salad. Sure, ever John like potato salad. Okay. Um. Um. Si gusta, empiezo, no, yo. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. What do you want for the picnic? 
Uh, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? Uh, no, we knew some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. All right, all right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers, two volunteers. Adam and Amanda. Thank you, Elmer. Thank you, Carla. Elmer, you are Adam. Carla, you are Amanda. Action. Action. What do you want for the for the picnic? Have a sandwich. Sandwiches. Okay. Sandwiches. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. 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 Re refrigerator. Refri. Refri. Jer. Refrigerator. 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 But we don't have an end bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we we need some. We need, no sé. That's some. right, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. I'd left by some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Likes. 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 Like. That's right. All right. Good job, Elmer. Good job, Carla. Excellent. Elmer, select somebody. Carla, select somebody. Por ahí teníamos a este. A Ada. All right, Ada, you are Amanda. Carla, select somebody. William. All right, William. William, you are Adam. Well, now, okay, teacher, listo. Action. Okay, so. Bueno, comience Adam. Comienza William. Yo comenzaría, teacher. Usted es Adam. Adam. Permita, mejor lo busco la imagen. Ya me ha extraviado. <risa> ahorita, ahorita. Está en el grupo del WhatsApp. Ahorita. La estoy What compartiendo yo. For the picnic. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone like this potato salad. Okay. All right, Thanks, teacher. Excellent work. Very good. Okay, guys. Now what we're going to do is we're going to invent a similar conversation in the discussion forum. You're going to imagine, for example, uh, let's say, for example, Adam can be, 
Uh, let me see, Mario Moran, for example. And Amanda can be Mario Moran's sister. And he's having a conversation with his sister. And she tells him, hey, Mario, uh, I need you to go to the Super Selectos and buy some things. And then Mario Moran says, yes, sister, of course. What do you need? What do you want? Yeah, the sister says, um, I need some chicken and meat for the barbecue party on Saturday. Ah, okay, sister, anything else? Uh, yes, we need some drinks. We can have some beers, sodas, and juice. Ah, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go right now. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. yes. All, all right, you have 10 minutes. 10 minutes.
All right, all right, guys. Um, do you need any more time? Are you finished? Uh, oh, do you need any more time? <laughs> Are you finished? How much time do you need? Two more minutes. Two more minutes. All right, two more minutes. All right, all right, time's up, time's up. Now we are going to go ahead and continue with the next activity. Knowledge check. Instructions, complete the conversation with some or any. Instrucciones, complete la conversación con some or any. For example, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make, ¿cuál le voy a poner? Any or some? Some. 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 Okay. Do we have, hmm? Mayonnaise. Any, mayonnaise. Any mayonnaise, correct. No, we need to buy some. Some. We need some onions too. Some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. Any onions? I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. Some celery. No, I don't want any any, any celery in my potato salad. Some. But let's put some, some, apples. some apples in it. 
Mm -hmm. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. What does it mean awful? Awful, horrible, nasty. So nasty. Como dice Romeo, so nasty. Suena horrible. That's right, ew. Como cuando decís, eso está ew. Okay, Por ejemplo, yo ahorita me acabo de tomar tres pastillas porque me siento ew. Awful. Okay. All right. Are you ready? We're going to practice in pairs. One person is going to be Amanda. The other person is going to be Adam. In pairs. We're going to practice the conversation in pairs. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Let's make it happen. Let's go. But with any grind. Uh, Doris, what won't you like to take? Adrián, some work, work please. Solamente. Está bien. Este, ya hice una corta ahí con este, con el nombre de, de este. De Ada. Ah, ok. Sí. Uh -huh. Está publicada, Entonces, si quieres para que la vea. No, 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 no le he podido publicar, porque ahora sí la estaba trabajando. Ah, pues voy. dígala, ah, pues dígala. Va, dice, eh, Ada dice, you point in the super selecto. De, que, este, ahí le preguntaba, ¿qué compraste en el super selecto? De, Buy some, some beans. Rice, cream, chicken, eh, compré unos frijoles, arroz, crema, pollo. Oh, ok, le dice. Did you buy bread? Bread, bread, si sí, se pamba, ¿verdad? Bread, algo así. Oh, ok. Eh, eh, pero no compraste pan, le dice. No, le dice. Y, y le pregunté. All right, all right. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. All right, Angel. Angel, you are Amanda. <laughs> Eh, inicio. 
That's right. This store doesn't have any potato salad. All right, Elizabeth Vasquez, you are Adam. Well, we have a lot of potatoes. Let's make some. Continue, Angel. Um, okay, we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onion too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. All right. Go ahead and select somebody, Elizabeth, and select somebody, Angel. Um, Eduardo Hernandez. Eduardo Hernandez, you are Adam. Select somebody, Angel. Lydia Arevalo. All right, Lydia Arevalo. Hello? Nine o'clock. Oh, it's nine o'clock. Oh, sorry, guys. All right, thank you. Hello. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Thank you, Bill. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Que siga mejor. Sí, me estoy tomando un montón de pastillas. Descanse. Yeah, todavía tengo otra clase. All right, good night. Bye bye. Good night.